You know, good, good gutty win. Uh, you know, I thought, uh, 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 you know, Eva picking up, uh, you know, two early fouls, uh, you know, really hurt us. And, but that's the game. You know, we, you don't know. She, those were two legit fouls. And, uh, um, you know, she's sent to the bench. And, you know, she's averaging 20 points a game. So she's a big, obviously a big part of what we do offensively. Um, but it, it's good to have one of these games early in the year. You know, I, my hat got to go off to Hartford, really challenged us and played us hard. And I try to prepare the team. Um, you know, facing a 0 5 team, a winless team, you know, you're playing a desperate team. You know what I mean? Somebody starving and hungry for their, for their first win. But I thought we, we had enough in us. We made enough runs. I thought we made some really good, uh, you know, hustle plays throughout the game. And, uh, um, you know, satisfied with the win. We've still, still early in the year, so we still have a lot to, to work on. Yeah, I thought we, 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 in spurts, we handled it well. You know, uh, you know, uh, uh, Nini uh, Shaniqua Gilliam is gonna is gonna be a real terrific player. So, you know, she needed one of these games where we really counted on her, um, uh, uh, you know, to to play well. But uh, we just struggled. You know, I, I just thought they were a lot more physical than us. Uh, the game wasn't typical. The game didn't have any rhythm. It seemed like foul, out of bounds. It didn't seem like there were a lot of up and down um, uh, type series in the game. But uh, um, you know, we survived it. We survived Eva. Like, uh, you know, it's better to have her learn that today than when we're at James Madison on January 5th. So um, I'm excited with how the, the team played. I, you know, we didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't shoot the ball well, especially from the interior, and that's something that we have to, we have to continue to improve on. Every game's different, and, uh, and today, today was different. You know, Eva's been playing, you know, 30-plus minutes for us and, and, and scoring at a 20-point-a-game 20, 20 game clip. And, uh, um, yeah, I, I thought we moved well at times. I thought we did some really good things offensively. I, I don't think we finished. We didn't shoot the ball well from three. Um, we, didn't, uh, we didn't shoot the ball well. I don't know what our shooting percentage was from the game. I haven't seen a stat sheet yet, but it couldn't have been pretty. You know what I mean? We didn't, uh, and, and, and then on top of it, I thought they were real physical and, uh, um, you know, with us. Uh, and we just, uh, you know, we, we weren't in, and we're, the answer question, we weren't in a great rhythm, I think, the entire night. Ella's presence has always felt, I mean, she's really our, uh, you know, our energy on the, on the defensive side. Uh, um, she just, uh, she's having a terrific year. And she's always gets, she always gets the assignment of guarding the best player on, on the other team. And uh, uh, she welcomes that night in and night out. But, uh, um, yeah, it's good to see her, you know, get, uh, help us a little bit more in the, in the scoring column because she does really so much for us on the defensive side. Uh, Bailey's been stepping in, a, you know, all year long. Ba Bailey's been real consistent. She's probably one, one of our most consistent post players. Um, you know, where, where we talked about Nyla's presence on the defensive side, Bailey's really a communicator. She, she's always uh, talking out there. She's always communicating to her teammates. Um, uh, you know, she's getting off the floor. She's exploding off the floor great in terms of rebounds and stuff. But she's playing with just terrific, terrific energy. And I thought, you know, that Moten kid uh, um, uh, for – uh, for Hartford tonight was a real good interior defender. Um, we probably should have countered on her a little bit more inside uh, with our moves. But uh, yeah, uh, Bailey's continuing to grow. She's going to be a big, big piece to what we do this year. Um, you know, I, you know, like I, I said, I, I didn't set out to for records and wins and and losses. I didn't set out for losses, obviously. Um, but you know, I, I wish you know, like I said, I. I the, the, the wins are just they're, they're they're more of a relief I wish we could I can I could enjoy it all 500 of I enjoyed a couple of them um, but you know they're more of a relief than they are uh, anything but I you know I, I set out you know so many years ago in coaching at Sacred Heart University to you know uh, just have somebody respect that program you know what I mean and I was cap I was I had a great administration at at Sacred Heart and some great players that um, really bought into what uh, we were trying to do and we were able to build that to a championship caliber program. And, and I have a terrific administration here at William & Mary with the same thing, with terrific players. And, uh, um, you know, we're going to continue to try to win those, the right three one, you know, the right three at the end of the year. And, uh, um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, I wish I can say that, you know, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a nice feeling, the 500 wins, but, uh, um, you know, more the, the, the experience of, of going through, um, you know, 20 something years with the players and the grind and, and all that. Those are the things I'll remember more uh, than anything. The great players, like I said, the great players that I had, the great people that I had an opportunity to coach, uh, you know, throughout, throughout the years is probably the thing that I'll, I'll remember the most. Uh, I'm not a, a numbers, you know, 
person or anything like that in terms of, but it, you know, we're trying to build this program to that championship level program too. And uh, um, I won't stop until that that's achieved. And I know the players down in that locker room won't stop till we achieve that either. I think it's gonna, you know, I think it's gonna be another game typical of tonight, a Delaware State team that's uh, um, got a lot of new kids in, on, in their program. Uh, they're um, they're hungry. They play really good defense. They they do a lot of a lot of different things. It'll be a good road test. It's a tough place to play. I know we played there once before. It's a real tough place to to play. So it, it's just another challenge for us. Uh, and you know, we'll be ready after the after we eat some turkey.